Ladies and gentle monks, you all know who my first song today was dedicated to. Who was it? I said. Alright, so we have some lucky, lucky people who lined up thinking it was Caesar and Lauren, but no, you get to ask Sam your questions. <coughs> Sam, you can hear us, right? I hope so. Alright, we can hear you. I can't see you guys, but you sound amazing. What a day. Hello, hello. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the questions. I feel like I'm in New Jersey. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> let's have some questions. It's tea time. Hello. Um, I was going, I'm a Peaker Sam first time. Um, I can't believe this. Um, I came up to ask a question of Cesar and Lauren, but you were here. Um, who is the biggest prankster on the set? And can you give an example? Oh, wow. Well, I think probably our biggest prankster. I'm not sure if he's there this uh, this weekend, but Stephen Cree obviously is uh, a complete pain in the ass. Um, uh, obviously, David Barry um, is, uh, is is also a pain in the ass. In fact, I think most of my girls are a pain in the ass. Hi, Sam. We know that you like to do a lot of hiking. What other extreme sports do you like to do? I asked David Ooh. Barry to go skydiving yesterday. Would you do that? You went skydiving yesterday? No, I asked him to. He said he would. Uh, I'll go skydiving with you. All right. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. All right. I'll have to. I'll have to get my passport first. We're going to New Jersey. <laughs> Hello, Sam. I've noticed that uh, the acting community in Scotland is fairly small. There are a lot of people who are in common productions. Who on the cast did you already know before uh, you came to Outlander? Oh wow, who did I know? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make mistakes here. Uh, I mean, amazing, there are so many uh, actors that come into Outlander that I were either in my drama school or people I've worked with before. Rosie Day, um, who was in season two, I worked with her. Um, it's funny, even the auditions though were, were really fun on Outlander. I don't know if you guys know you probably do, but um, you know, I, I got to sit in a lot of the auditions uh, before we started Outlander. So I auditioned with uh, Greg McTavish, which, uh, which was a lot of fun. Um, uh, yeah, I even assisted first, but I knew obviously Laura. Um, Please, Janet. It's weird. She actually auditioned for Claire, um, so we had to do some scenes together, and it felt really weird. And she auditioned for, for Janet, and it was just perfect. And she's amazing, isn't she? Outside of Scotland, wish I was there. It's amazing. Outside of Scotland, which of course is beautiful, what is your favorite filming location thus far, or do you have a favorite scene that you anticipate filming in the future? Can you do oh, season four, we are. It's some cool locations, and I can't quite tell you where they are just yet. Um, without giving away too much, the, the finale is a great location. Um, there may or may not be some, uh, some Native Americans involved. Um, it is so beautiful, and uh, every day we were shooting up there, we had the most amazing sunrises and sunset. We were doing night shoots, but it was amazing. And then we also had deer, wild deer, 
uh, and a shitload of images which were, were rough. <laughs> Hi Sam, my name is Lynetta. Nice Hi. to meet you. Um, I read all the books. My best friend Pauline recommended them to me. Did you happen to read any of the books before you did any of the filming? Did I read the books? Is that Correct. your question? Yes, it is. <laughs> no. Are you telling me there are books? I better go read these things. I know, Diana Gabaldon would be so disappointed. I have read the books. We, um, I've started uh, uh, book five. Um, fucking hell! I need to speak to Diana. Excuse my swearing. I'm so sorry. Um, uh, I need to speak to Diana and tell her to stop writing so much because it's taken me forever to get through them. But um, I really enjoyed. I actually enjoyed it before. It was really um, but yeah, we, we do try to not be too, too far ahead. Um, but they are uh, they're great. They're great source of information. And actually, Diana. He also um, sends me a lot of messages or emails and asks her a lot of questions. And she's been great. And still, you know, she's also a great critic as well. So if something is really bad, she'll let me know. Hi, Sam. I'm Becky. Sorry. Um, I'm Becky. Um, <laughs> I was wondering, what are you most excited for us to see? in season four, if you could tell us. What am I most excited for? For us, for us to see in season oh, you four. See? Yeah. Well, there's this quite annoying child, JV has, <laughs> called uh, Brian. <laughs> Barry. Bridget. Brianna. Toby does a pretty reasonable job. She's all right. I mean, she's okay. Uh, yeah, no, honestly, she's uh, fantastic. And uh, a big, a big respect to Toby. She's incredible. Uh, um, there's going to be uh, some really cool scenes between us, including some the bee hunting. I mean. Hi, Sam. My name's Cheyenne. Um, I was just wondering, what was one of the hardest scenes to shoot in season three? Oh, season three. I posted a picture today because uh, of my thousandth post. I basically posted a lot of pictures of myself, and um, this was no exception. Uh, this was the done bonnet, and uh, it was difficult because yeah, obviously a lot of a lot of wigs and a lot of weird. Uh, Beardage going on, which this is also fake, by the way. This is not real. Um, I borrowed this. Well, they um, Yeah, no, the dumb body was fun. It was, it was pretty tough because of all that stuff, and also because Jamie's in a really dark place. And uh, I loved it, but it was also pretty tough. But actually, the whole, the first half of season three for me was real fun. There was so much for me to do, and from you know Jamie Fraser being in the battle to something like to, to living and stuff on it and then become Mac. Uh, that was uh, a really great journey. And actually you may see a little bit more of that storyline this season. Hi Sam, seeking a bit of travel advice. What's your favorite place to hike in Scotland other than Glencoe? Because I've been there already. <laughs> You've done it? Oh well. Um, you can come with me and we will go um, to, uh, we will go up to the Cobra, but we won't go up the Cobra, we will go, it's a bit like in this valley, it's a bit like Lord of the Rings, Mordor, Raining Rock Formation, um, and then you turn up and you go up to Benny, uh, which is my favorite peak of any, any mountain, because you're above all the other mountains, you've got a great view. Uh, obviously, we'll share the whiskey when we're up there, and then you can carry me back home. Hi, Sam. Thank you very much for getting on Skype. Um, but uh, I wanted to ask you, how many more training, how many hours of training do you do for this new project? Every day. It's just like, it feels like forever. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm doing bloodshot. And, uh, Thank you. 
it's been a little bit uh, difficult, obviously, with the schedule, as you guys know. Um, it's moved around a lot. Uh, however, uh, yes, supposed to be hopefully getting here next week. Now, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm training uh, pretty hard for it. Um, I play um, too much. I play like. Uh, oh, I can't tell you actually. <laughs> Remember, I can't tell you. Okay, well. But I am training about once or twice a day, and it's good fun. You've probably seen on my Instagram, uh, my trainer is just killing me. And when I get to South Africa as well, I break stuff up. Like but I'm really enjoying it, and it's very different to Jamie. He's, uh, his character is, uh, it is not Jamie, but it's a, so there's no ginger in the wig. Hi, uh, I'm <laughs> Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm an Air Force combat veteran with PTSD from combat and from assault. And I just wanted to say you did a really good job with portraying somebody with PTSD. What did you use for your material, and how did you kind of get yourself into that character for that for that part? For season one. For season one, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Um... Oh, it was uh, it feels like such a long time ago now. We've been doing this for four years. Uh, it was, you know, some great writing. Uh, amazing to play opposite Tobias Menzies. Um, he's uh, incredible, and, and it was such a sort of horrific moment for Jamie. But it was, yeah, he had to go some pretty dark places, I think. And, um, but the, the best part of it was, you know, that through his love, uh, Blair's love, he he's, um, he finds. Uh, some sort of peace, um, you know, it does follow through into season two, you know, he's still sort of suffering from that PTSD, but um, it's funny, you know, that, that whole part of his journey, and, uh, it was like so long ago now, and um, we're now getting into season four, where we have some even worse villain, uh, in, in the name of Stephen Bonnet. Uh, so yeah, uh, Jimmy has not a pretty, not an easy journey, let's put it that way, but, uh, but he's older now, so probably dealing with him is, uh, is maybe easier, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a, great, a great challenge for an actor for those episodes. Thank you. Hi Sam, it's Jenny, and I'm from New Orleans. How are you? Hi. Um, hey. I might have a comment and one question. My comment is, you really, truly, I've never seen this happen in my life with anybody else, you truly become Jamie Fraser. I feel like, I feel like Sam Hewitt puts on a cloak of invisibility and, and then Jamie comes out. And I just wanted to tell you that that's amazing and I'm very thankful. <laughs> That's a great cloak, by the way. Um, so my, then my other question is, what time is it where you are? Um, it's, quite, it's only quarter past five, so it's definitely time for a drink. <laughs> what are you having for dinner? I'm sticking with the tea right now, but uh, thank you, that's a great, great reason for you to say. What was your question? Oh, that was your question. <laughs> what time is it where you are? It's early, isn't it? No. Noon. Noon, huh? Well, you can drink too. <laughs> It's Christina from Virginia. Thank you so much for being here with us. <laughs> well, thank you for coming from Virginia. It's my way. We didn't come to Scotland. No. <laughs> this is good. My question is about, well, one of the things that I love more or most, besides watching the show, is watching the bloopers, the outtakes. And my question is, as professionals, how long does it take you guys to recover from those really hysterical moments to get the shot? Uh, yeah, that's a tough one because if Katrina goes, oh, bleep, scroll, yeah. She, 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 she basically turns her back. And, uh, no one can see her and she just laughs. And uh, you can normally tell because her shoulders go first. She's like, uh, and if that's the case, you know, that it's going to be, everyone might as well stop, but we 
keep trying, but yeah, she's just terrible. And it, it, there's been a few moments when students pass in the work. I think it's a combination of time. It's, uh, some some of the kind of ridiculous situations we're in, but she's so fun and we have we laugh a lot. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it is pretty tough and uh, nothing good because we all love to watch them. They, they always save it for our uh, rap party and then they put them on. Um, and this season is no exception. I think, of course, like every season, we've got a swear in the world. I think we need to have new words because we seem to lose the same ones. But uh, we love them. Absolutely love you. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> I just want to ask you, like, what part of Jamie Fraser do you feel most connected to, and are you going to play the role all the way to the end of the series? Didn't quite hear your question. <laughs> do you want me to yeah. say it again? Okay, what part of Jamie Fraser do you feel most connected? And also, are you going to play Jamie all the way to the end of the series? I think you said what part of me you're like connected to? Sorry? What part of nature? What part of Jamie? Oh, Jamie. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm here. Right? <laughs> what part of Jamie am I connected to? Uh, well, he's too honest, that helps. Um, uh, his, uh, I'm kind of too, I think, you know, the books really give us a way into to these characters, but uh, for me, season one was the finding who he was, was about um, training. Yeah, this is not someone that's sort of fighting for what he loves and fighting for, um, for his country, uh, his freedom. Um, and it's just been a really great journey. I think we learn more about Jamie as each episode each season. And it's so fun with this show. We do get to do different things in every season. And uh, I'd love to play it as long as possible because, because it's, it is each season completely different. You know, this is where we're in America. It's such an interesting story and that period of time. And I actually just had a, a big meeting two days ago with. And just talking about costumes and Jamie's look, and um, it's just, it's, it's like literally like uh, to create this world and then mine into these characters. Um, each season is like that you know, from Paris to Caribbean to, to Scotland and now to, to America. It's, it's, it's incredible. So, yes, more Jamie. Good morning, Sam. I'm the other Diana. Hi, Diana. <laughs> Not herself, but the other one. I, I got up here, I was trying to think of something very witty and interesting to say. What can I do? What can I say? So, I can't. I got nothing. But I do have a question that Graham told me this morning. You and he made the funniest audition video that has yet to be posted where you made a really funny fool of yourself and he did as well. Can you comment on that? This is Grant. Is he there? I have no idea what he's talking about. I never spoke to him. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Grant. I love you. When are you coming back? Hi, Sam. This is Jody from New Jersey. And we're Hi. so happy that you're here talking to us. Um, I, my question was, I heard you talk about having prosthetics around your eyes. And is that true? And I've yeah. looked at pictures 
years, and I can't see the difference. So, if you can explain it, that would be great. Well, that means they've done their job well. Exactly. You can't. Um, in, we started season two. Um, toward, uh, so when we, we, Jamie comes back in the print shop, um, there's a there's a great deal of makeup. I, I get about an hour and a quarter of makeup. Uh, an amazing makeup artist, Wendy, who's just incredible. Uh, so she does a lot of work here. We, we tried different things. They, they use like a glue to give me more lines, though I think I've got these lines now. Um, they had these prosthetics uh, here called brow razors. It's a piece of rubber and it's just makes you more of a. I'm gonna stop poking my face. Um, it breaks the dry brows, gives you a, a lot more lines, features. Um, and then, yeah, you know, there's little bits of grey and there's a lot of weathering, a lot of color, coloring. Um, so, yeah, I think most, if not all of uh, that season, you know, I've got this, this kind of uh, eye makeup. We've tried different things. Um, the problem with these uh, brow raised we found is that they pick up mud, dirt, and Jamie's always dirty uh, in every sense. So, um, we'd have to be protected. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're looking at different things, but. You know, it's fun to see him age slowly, and um, it's always interesting because he is a ginger. Uh, you know, they, they don't go grey as much as they go long, they go lighter. So that's been uh, interesting to look at. But yeah, I think he ages pretty well. He, he does good. But... <laughs> I think the key to that is, you know, if you can't see the makeup, I think that's the point. You should never see the makeup. So, do we, do we have some great people in the building? Hello, Sam. Uh, thank you so much um, for doing this. What a treat. Um, you may or may not be able to see, there are a ton of super fans here. We are all a bunch of Outlander nerds. Um, whoop. <laughs> and we love it. Um, are, is there anything that you consider yourself to be prone to geeking out to or getting excited by? Are you a super fan of anything in particular? What do I get excited about? Yes. <laughs> um, I, um, I'm gonna stick with TV shows, I think. Um, you know what I mean, watch it. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the show Naked and Afraid. Yeah. Naked and Afraid. <laughs> I think we should do an album the special. <laughs> Um, and who would want to be with? <laughs> so run. <laughs> Thank you. Run. Hi. Okay, so I have a little bit of a two-parter for you. First one, what is the hardest dialect for you to do on the show? And second, what, in your opinion, are the chances of the show getting picked up for season seven? Um, the part is probably, uh, uh, well actually this new season, I mean I don't do it because Jamie Fraser is, is, is all Scottish, but um, no, I, the accents in America, you know, because uh, a lot of different cultures clashing and colliding and um, so, you know, that's where the accent comes from. But, I think they've discovered, you know, a lot of it comes from, from the people that settled there, so the Scots, the um, So it's such a weird accent. Uh, I unfortunately don't have to do it. Um, doing Katrina's accent is pretty tough. My Irish is from um, But I like to do it to a point. Uh, and what are the likelihood? If you guys keep watching Outland, you'll get season seven, so keep watching. Hello Sam, my name is Denise and I'm from Maryland. I had the pleasure of meeting you and Katrina last fall in New York at the charity event for cancer. 
very nice event. Um, love the beer. Uh, my question is, how hard was the last episode of season three to film with the hurricane? Oh, the last episode of season three, wow. That was um, crazy. So much happens in an episode. Uh, from the, you know, the sort of uh, sacrificial people dancing and people driving to, to Galis, who's incredible. Huge shout out to Walter, she was so fantastic. Um, and um, probably the hardest thing, and then we finished, probably you guys maybe know, or know that we were in this water tank, doing the underwater stuff. And, and yeah, it was tough. I, I got really ill. Um, the South African stomach bug, which uh, you don't really want to be under water when you have that. Um, so I had to cancel the shooting that day and I felt terrible because I really wanted to be there and I didn't feel up to it. Um, so we actually shot it for a couple of days, but yeah, our, our very last day was when I felt better. Uh, it was so fun. I did injure Katrina a little bit. Um, it wasn't all my fault. I mean, she probably should have looked where she was going, but she was playing that she was down, so I guess that's a little bit of a book. But um, yeah, it was pretty fun. We had this uh, little jacuzzi by the side of the pool because it was so cold. So we would sit in there uh, in between takes and then warm up. Um, and of course, we had a beer. So it was uh, a great fun, and I, I loved South Africa. It was really cool, so that's why I'm excited to go back um, because I have a lot of friends there. Uh, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful country. It's the most romantic scene I've ever seen with you swimming to save her. It's like my heart just came out of my chest. It was unbelievable. Thank you. Oh, oh. Hi, Sam. I'm Christina. I'm a Outlander fan, but also a Star Trek fan. And I, <laughs> I noticed on Twitter that you and Will Shatner are buddies. I was wondering how you met and like what's up with that. <laughs> yeah, old Shatner. Uh, young. Um, yeah. I'm a I'm a, I'm a big fan of Star Trek and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see that Patrick Stewart's coming back. Yeah. Uh, um, God, Star Trek Next Generation. I'm a big fan. Uh, Deanna Troy. <laughs> Um, yes, Shatner and I, uh, we, we've, we've hung out a few times and had dinner, and uh, he's a remarkable man, and there's a lot to, to learn from him. So um, it's pretty cool to meet your idols, and uh, I've been very lucky, I think that's what Outlander's done, you know, I've been able to meet a lot of people that I admire, and people that have had you know, great careers, so uh, this was no exception, but um, I'm fortunate you know, I get to work with some great people. And, in all of these other projects as well. You we always learn from them. And, you know, like, Bill Shatner, he was in a long-term TV show that was very successful. It's kind of interesting to hear his stories and learn lessons from him. There's a lot of similarities. It's always cool to, to meet other people from other TV shows and see how it works for them. And, um, and you know, what challenges and what, you know, uh, things they learn from it. So, yeah, it's been really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is the last question. Hi, Sam. My Hi. name is Kathy. I'm from Maryland. And Hi. I wanted to thank you for MPC. You got a thank you for that. Great. And also, I wanted to ask you what keeps you grounded? Uh, you guys. Thank you. It's you know it is uh, really a great a great job that we do. We, we try to um, you know, share as much as we can with you guys. And you know I'm sorry that this didn't work out, but it was been you, you're so humbling and we love you for it. And to to be able to do something we love and share it with you guys, the dream come true. So I really hope you will enjoy the next season. It's gonna be such a July. So join us in North Carolina. Sam, we want to thank you. We want to thank you so much for being available to 
our New Jersey crowd on the behalf of Creation Entertainment. We want to thank you so much for being here and, and answering your questions. Like, what's